friends, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you are new. This is actually my first video in 2023, so I hope you guys had a great Christmas and a great New Year's, and I hope you have the best year yet. So today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys into the stores with me, and we're gonna do some shopping after Christmas, after the holidays, we're gonna see what kind of sales they have out. I love doing this every year just to kind of spruce up my home decor that I love for all year round. Usually stores will mark down all of their Christmas decor and it'll be like half off, 75% off, but that's not what we're shopping for today. Today we're actually going in and we're gonna be looking for neutral home decor because they actually mark down a lot of those things as well. So we're gonna be going to three different places today, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and TJ Maxx. And I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm gonna show you some of the items that I found. Hobby Lobby just restocked their 75% off aisle and it's on like neutral home decor, lots of artwork and vases, different types of neutral home decor that's been throughout the store and they're just bringing out new things. So they've just clearanced everything out. So I'm gonna take you guys down that aisle and show you some of my favorite finds. And then I'm gonna also check out Home Goods and TJ Maxx because I find that they also will mark down lots of different things other than just Christmas to kind of clear out their inventory and get a new start for the year. So they'll be marking down things all throughout the store. So I'm gonna take you guys along. We're gonna do some shopping together. And then after we're done, we'll head back to our house and I'm gonna show you what I picked up and how I style it in my home. So I hope you guys enjoy this shop with me and decorating video. I love a good deal and I love to go into stores and find affordable home decor and show different types of styling. So I'll be giving Giving you different ways to style each of the items also so i hope you guys enjoy this video without further ado let's go ahead to the stores all right we are starting out at hobby lobby and we are heading down the 75 percent off home decor section i love shopping this aisle because they have a ton of random home decor pulled throughout the entire store and everything is such great deals so i'm going to show you some of my top favorite finds first up is this black pitcher. This would be such a pretty vase for an arrangement and it was a great deal. It was under $10. I also love this black woven basket. It was originally $34.99 marked down to $8.74. I loved all of their landscape art pictures. They had tons of different ones to choose from. This one was $5.99. I also loved this little wicker basket. This would be great to put in a bathroom or anywhere really. You could put a faux plant in it. It was on clearance for $10. And I don't feel like that's such a great deal, but sometimes baskets can be pricey. This one was broken, but it was only a dollar. And then they also had these white woven storage baskets with handles that were marked down to $5 or $4.49, basically five. And then they also had these placemats that were really neutral. They were marked down to $1.24. I also loved a few of these different prints. I thought this one would be sweet for a little girl's room. I also loved these hooks. These were really cute and they were marked down to $6.24. I also loved these wooden architectural pieces. This came as a set of two. They were originally $45 and they were marked down to $11.24. They also had some pretty boho inspired pictures. This one was on clearance for $7.49. I also loved this style. They had it in eucalyptus and then they also had a different style of eucalyptus so you could get two different ones to complement each other for $5. This one was also really pretty, a little bit different with the black frame and this one was on clearance for $6.24. Such a great steal if you're looking for some good neutral art. I thought this piece could be styled really neat. This one was a good deal. It was originally $40. It was marked down to $9.99. They also had these little hooks that were individual ones. These were originally $14.99 and they were a really good price as well. Um, so if you didn't want the four, you could just get 
the individual ones. They also had this picture frame for $7. They had this landscape art. This one was a little bit smaller. It was for $3. This egg holder was for $3. And oh my goodness, how cute is that? I already have a few, otherwise I would have bought it. And then I love this little container. I love styling these on shelves. It was $6. I also thought this house was really cute. This one was marked down to $1.99. This little mini board was marked down to $8. This one here was really pretty and it was $6. And then again, here's some a few more just landscape art pictures and overview. I thought the oranges were cute. I didn't love the bamboo gold frame, but I did like the still life pictures. Um, I love this little vase. There's a few different vase styles. This black one was a good deal. It was $6.49. It was a little scratch, but not terrible. They had this taller vase, um, and then I'll just show like an overview of different ones depending on your style. But they had all different kinds, and most of them were less than $10. So great way to stock up on some vases for your coffee table or kitchen island. Um, they make for great centerpieces, or I also like to just pop them on a shelf with some greenery or even just style them in a group of three. I love this wooden bowl. This would look so cute with some fruit in it. It was under $10. And then this was one of my favorite landscape art pictures of the day. It was for $5. There were a few other ones. I didn't show everything, believe it or not, but they had so many good options that they just pulled from their regular decor. So now is a great time to stock up if you want to redecorate a room or just spruce up a few different areas. I also love looking at their little containers. These are great to stick in bathrooms or even just shelving on bathrooms or to use for holding Q-tips, cotton balls, you can use them in the kitchen for spices. So many different uses for these pieces. Next, we are heading over to Home Goods, and they had items marked down throughout the whole store, but they also had one section, which was like one little aisle full of just clearance items. One was this really large pillow. This one had a gray linen material on one side, and then the other side was more of a chevron. This blue one was a leather pillow, and it was originally $60, marked down to $25. If you like putting in a pop of color, I love adding in blue. I feel like it's still a very neutral color and big euro, euro size pillows with texture can be really pricey those ones were marked down to 18. I also love this one it's just neutral on one side just a creamy linen and then the other side was a faux leather. I also love looking at their bath items. They had lots of hand towel sets marked down. These were originally, I think, $12.99 and they were marked down to $10, so you saved $3 if you're wanting to switch out your hand towels. Also, they had a lot of their bedding marked down, so if you're wanting to refresh that for the new year, now is a good time to go in and see what they marked down. Um, I found a few different really nice ones. I loved this plaid. I thought that was so pretty and neutral. I also loved the soft velvet one that was in a neutral color. And then if you guys seen their toys, like their little wicker kitchen set, they had that marked down $75 off as well as the pots and pans that go with it. How cute is this? They also had a little suitcase that was that was wicker and looked like a little bear. How cute, and they have different sizes in this one. So cute for storing little toys, even like little picnic items. And then they also had doll houses, which are so cute. These were a really good price. They were originally 200, marked down to 130, and they do open up. They had a black and white one, gray and white one, and a few different other styles. So those are so cute if you could pick one up for Christmas next year or birthday or something. But now we're heading into TJ Maxx and I did show a few of the Christmas items just because they did still have a good selection of it. I love getting the wreaths specifically. These could even be used as winter decor if you still use pine for your winter styling. But I loved these. They were half off. All of the Christmas was so you could get a huge wreath for under $20. They also had really good tree collars. These can be really pricey. It was originally $30 and it was marked down to $15 and then they 
they also had some furniture on sale. I loved these wicker chairs. They were so pretty. They were more like a bar stool. Originally 200 marked down to 144 each. And I also loved this little side table. This one was originally $100 and it was marked down to 72. I'm back home now, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the items that they had out in the stores. I was so impressed with Hobby Lobby. I feel like they had such a good selection of their 75% off home decor. I love whenever the aisle is fully stocked and I feel like it was. Usually I catch the tail end of that sale and there's just a few things left and not a whole lot to choose from. I ended up finding a lot of art and just different types of landscape pictures. So that's mainly what I got. And then I grabbed a few extra little things. I ended up not picking up anything at HomeGoods or TJ Maxx, but I'm planning on going back and just seeing what they keep pulling out and what they keep marking down. They did have a lot of pillows that were marked down. I didn't need any of them, but I did see a lot that I liked. They also had their toys marked down, like their doll houses. That little wicker kitchen set was so sweet. So if you have a little girl, that would be a great Christmas present for next year. I almost got it for Breland because it was such a good deal. They also had some bath items marked down at Home Goods, like their washcloths and hand towels and like soap dispensers. And that's something I do like to refresh throughout the new year. So if you're looking for those items, they probably have a lot of that on sale. And again, they have just things throughout the whole store. So it just depends on what you're looking for. For me personally, I'm looking for filler items. I have these shelves behind me that I like to change up in style. So I was looking for decor for that mainly, and then some decor for the bathroom. So without further ado, let me show you the haul and we'll style it together. The first piece that I picked up was this really pretty landscape art picture. And I love this one. It has a wooden frame around it and it has this gold trim. It's matted in white. And then it's just this really pretty countryside picture. I love it. I think it's very neutral. It's relaxing. Definitely goes with my laid back kind of rustic country vibe that I'm going for. I feel like this is a very timeless piece and it could layer in really nicely with other things. And it's a pretty good size. I would say it's not small, it's not large. It's more on the smaller medium size, which is great for even styling in your kitchen or bathrooms. This was originally $23.99 and they had it marked down to $5.99. So I decided to style this in our living room on the shelves that I have behind me. And I just layered it in a group of three. I just, I put it as the center point on the shelf above our built-ins. For some height, I added a faux olive tree next to it and this ceramic DIY pottery vase that I made. And I also added this wooden container with the marble top. And I love the focal point that this gives. It gives the shelf some dimension. The next one that I picked up is this one here. And again, this has sort of the same colors, a little bit of the warmer tones, the woods. This one is eucalyptus. This has a lighter wooden frame and then it's trimmed in almost a linen material. It, it does have some texture to it, which I like. And the picture itself has a lot of different color variations, but they're all in that same neutral color scheme, which I love. This one was originally $21.99 and it was reduced down to $5.49. So again, two pictures that were close to $5 that add such a statement. So for this one, I'm gonna put it in the living room also on the shelves on the opposite side of the fireplace and I'm going to layer this one. I love doing this with different art pieces. This is another piece that I picked up from Hobby Lobby on clearance. I think it was like two dollars. I had pulled it from our basement. I had had it for a long time and had never used it but I thought that it went well with this picture and the colors that it had in it. So this one I didn't style with any other coordinating items except for the layered picture frame but I love that it is a little bit larger and I just lean it up against the wall and then sometimes I'll put some like sticky tack tape to just make sure it doesn't lean over. Got one more landscape picture and it is this one here. And I think this is my favorite. This one is more of a canvas style. It's a little bit smaller. Again, it has the wood frame around it. And this one is just very subtle. It has a small landscape at the bottom, but for the most part, it's just very neutral. This will go so many different places. And this one was originally $21.99 and it was marked down to $5.49 again. So such a great deal. 
Three pictures for under $20, you cannot beat it, especially since one would originally be over $20. So this one I'm gonna style in my kitchen and I'm gonna create a vignette. First starting out with a wooden tray to kind of anchor all of the items. Next I'm gonna add in this picture in the back just as a focal point. And then I love adding lamps to a kitchen, especially in areas that are a little bit more dark. So like corners, areas where you don't have under light lighting or maybe the light doesn't shine as bright. I love popping a lamp over there. So I have a lamp and then I also have my diffuser. I love that this also puts off a little bit of light. It also smells so good whenever you diffuse oils in it. So I also love that this picture is tall enough that it will hide the cords for both of those items. You can't see the lamp cord or the diffuser cord, which is such a win. I love to try to hide those cords so you aren't visually distracted buy them instead of looking at the item itself. So that's a great way to do it. Either a cutting board or a picture like this or a cookbook, just something that you can prop up against the outlet and you won't even see them. Another item I picked up was this black woven basket and I just love the shape of this. Thought it was very pretty and unique. I can't remember how much this was originally, but it was reduced down to $8.74 and they had a couple of these at my Hobby Lobby, and there are so many different ways you could style these. I ended up styling it in my living room on my shelves again, and I just put a little bit of greenery in them, and I actually picked up this greenery at Hobby Lobby also. This is what it looks like. I think it has a very realistic look to it. It's very wispy, very pretty, and it was originally $6.99, and it was half off whenever I was at Hobby Lobby that week. So I grabbed two little bunches of these and then just stuck it in the basket. Had some visual interest. And then I put a really pretty book in the back and prop that up on the shelf just to give it a different look. I love using books on my shelves, but I like to use them in unique ways. So that's just one way that you could style this basket. I also think it would be really practical in a bathroom. You could fold up a bunch of hand towels or regular towels on your bathroom counter or even next to your shower on a little stool. I think that would be so pretty. I also love that it has a handle on it so you could put it on a peg shelf or you could even have it next to your entryway to throw your keys in. Many different uses for this, especially a really cute basket under $10. Last but not least, I picked up this little black container. This one was originally $27.99 and it was marked down to $6.99. And it's a pretty decent size. It's black. It has some dimpling in it. It does have a lid on it. It's not airtight. It just kind of sits on top and it's a ceramic piece. I think this is so pretty and unique, but also kind of rustic looking. You could definitely use this multiple different ways. I ended up signing this in one of our bathrooms. I just put it next to a little plant stand with a plant on top. I'm going to store cotton balls or q-tips, one of the two in it. And I love the black color. It pairs really nicely with our mirrors and the lights that are in there. And our countertops are white, so it's a good contrast with that. And that is everything that I had picked up. And that's everything that I picked up from shopping. So I hope you guys enjoyed going into the stores, seeing what they had out at my local stores. Yours probably would be a little bit different. I know that every Hobby Lobby varies and then especially TJ Maxx and Home Goods, they are constantly getting new things in and none of the stores have the same thing. So if you are in the market for some good neutral home decor pieces, if you are restyling after the holidays then definitely go check them out. I would say these next couple weeks are going to be marking things down continuously, trying to get ready for new inventory. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy shop with me videos and if you like seeing how I actually style the pieces in my home. Target just came out with their new Hearth and Hand line for spring and their Studio McGee line. And I've already been into my Target and looked at a little bit of it, but they haven't gotten everything out. So whenever they do, I'll make sure to film that for you because I feel like a lot of the spring stuff is good just year round decor as well. So stay tuned for that. I've got lots more
more shopping and decorating videos to come as well as just home build design. I'm gonna show you guys what we did to design our kitchen all the way down to all the rooms in our house and I'm gonna be organizing each room also as I go. So I'll take you guys along for the journey and it gets you inspired to create a home that you love as well. I love sharing different ways to find affordable home decor on clearance or just good deals and sales or good value and then creating pieces that look really high end in your home. So hopefully this inspires you. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.